Hey, up, it's Steve from that old Yorkshire geek. A uh, bit of Doctor Who news again today. Uh, Russell T. Davis has hit out a rubbish, quote, rubbish modern work scriptwriters. God, I wonder what that was then. <laughs> that caused me a. Uh, right, so let's get the news up. Uh, this is from the Daily Mail. Uh, as usual, links in the description. Don't forget, where are we? Over there. Like and subscribe. Share the videos, drop a comment, hit the notification bell if you're subscribed. Uh, I'm also on uh, uh, Rumble and Anchor.fm and Spotify and Amazon Music Podcasts and Google Podcasts. And I'm also on the social medias. Pardon me. I've just eaten a big bowl of bran flakes and it's repeating on me. <laughs> Uh, I'm also on the social medias, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description, as are links for my books. There's the first one, Mercury Rapids. Bit of fun about UFOs. Uh, a chap gets abducted by aliens and uh, hijinks ensue. And also Silent Predator. Uh, that's just like a novella. It's only a short, a short book about uh, a big cat uh, or cats. Um, on the rampage in North Yorkshire. Uh, that's a bit of fun as well. Right, so here we go. Uh, Doctor Who maestro Russell T. Davis hits out at rubbish modern work script, right, script writers who are obsessed with diversity rather than loving television. Is this a dig at Chris Chibnall? Sounds like it, doesn't it? Russell T. Davis criticised rubbish TV screenwriters obsessed with diversity. Mr. Davis has returned to oversee Doctor Who in its 60th anniversary. <laughs> the mastermind behind the renaissance of Doctor Who has criticised rubbish television screenwriters obsessed with diversity. Russell T. Davis, the chief writer and producer of the show's 2005 reboot, said many scriptwriters today did not love TV and were more interested in a representation. Representation. <laughs> I do a lot of mentoring and there are voices wanting to be heard of any gender or ethnicity who consider themselves invisible, he said. They hate the media that ignores them and they're trapped into wanting a job in that medium purely to increase representation. He told the Sunday Times, I read their scripts and they're rubbish. They don't actually love television, so they don't know how to write for it. And there he is. In the same interview, actor and director Mark Gatiss uh, shared his concern about the quality of new writers. Sometimes I think I'm like Pollyanna because I've met so many people who hate making television, he said. It seems to make them so miserable. Go and work on the bins or something. It's hard work. It gives you ulcers. So you have to love it. I think it means stomach ulcers. <laughs> Not ulcers on your feet. Or maybe it does. I don't know. Um... Mr. Davis has returned to oversee Doctor Who in its 60th anniversary year after uh, in its 60th anniversary year uh, after the most recent run suffered a poor reception from fans and critics because it was rubbish. Uh, it faced criticisms under Chris Chibnall for being too political and woke. He quit the show after the late. He didn't quit. <laughs> he fired. After the latest Christmas special, the final episode with Jodie Whittaker as the female Doctor, it was going to be cancelled. It was going to be cancelled with Doctor Who uh, if um, Russell D. Davis hadn't come back. You know, the parachuted in, and saved the day. In 2005, Mr. Davis revived Doctor Who to critical acclaim by casting Christopher Eccleston and then David Tennant in the lead role and penning more adult and modern storylines. This year, fans will see Shooty Gatwa as the 15th Doctor, the first black actor to take on the role. Oh, that's it. And that's it. So, so he's having a dig there at, um, you know, he didn't mention him by name, but I think it was a, a sly dig at uh, Chris Chibnall, uh, whom he is taking over from, or from whom he's taking over, should I say. Sorry, that was just my cat bombing past. Um, yeah. Um, so I think it's a dig. So does that mean his new Doctor Who's that he's going to be writing and producing and overseeing um, is going to be less work than uh, it got towards you know towards the end, mid midway through the um, Peter Capaldi run, it started getting more and more you know. Woke. I hate that word. 
but you know what I mean, more and more to do with identity politics, representation, blah, 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 all that. Uh, rather than good storytelling, so hopefully we're going to go back to that. Um, and it's interesting that Russell T. Davis you know, has said that about, about, about you know, diversity and representation. He's you know, an openly gay man, as is, uh, oh, I a picture of him, uh, but as is Mark Gatiss. Uh, another another actor, director, you know, creator that I, I really like. I'm a fan of Mark Gatiss. I love his uh, BBC Ghost Stories for Christmas, and, um, um, and and the other stuff he's done. You know, he's been in Sherlock and he's been in Doctor Who as well. And and that's it. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of both of these chaps, and hopefully they're going to turn it around. Well, Russell T Davis is going to turn it around and uh, bring Doctor Who back, and hopefully. Do away with that terrible timeless child storyline, retcon that shouldn't have been done to start with, and I, I have no idea how how Chibnall got away with it, but he did. So there we go. So we'll leave it at that. A quickie. Right. So thanks for watching, and wherever you are in the universe, look after each other, and until next time, I'll see thee. <laughs>